Jojo Siwa, I am begging you to go back to your come as a female dog phrase with your Kiss Rock Band inspired makeup or even better, back to selling bows and throwing boomerangs instead of doing whatever you just did on your latest magazine photo shoot. Hi, my name's Duffy and Jojo Siwa, you're gonna be paying for our bleach and our cleaning products for what you did in that photo shoot. In case you're living in a cave, no pun intended, Jojo Siwa was the girl from Dance Moms. You deserve nothing else. You earn it. You can't stand here and cry. Well, if you yell at me, I'm gonna cry. Get out. Go. Go, go Joe! Have you learned nothing? Then start making Musical.ly, aka the OG TikTok, where people lip sync. Life. Not me for life. Woo! I don't need a handhold. Even do transitions. Fire when the strong picks you. That's it, friend. And dances on camera. Fast forward from 2016 to 2019, she was in a pop group called Semo Pop, created by Team Siwa. They say, I'ma come back like a boomerang. Hate to admit, but Boomerang and Kit in a Candy Store was part of my childhood during primary. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting old too after watching those MVs. It's been years. There's a child in my house. Who let you in? You. Yeah, this video aged poorly. Sorry, not sorry. What the hell? She's been branding herself as the kid friendly, colorful, bubbly, and fun girl with a signature high ponytail and bows until the day she turned 21. Back to modern days where she decided she was no longer the colorful, kid friendly girl she was and debuted Karma. Let's recap on her outfit because this was indeed an interesting choice. I did some bad things. I'm willing to offer some fabric for you, Jojo, no worries. Also, I'm confused over what this line can bring to the table, but the bat wings are slaying, I guess? I was a bad girl. You were busy making slime and babysitting Northwest. How is that bad? Here's what editor Duff had to endure while doing her research and editing this video. how the song was originally by Brit Smith, recorded in 2002 and intended to be released a single from the debut album before it was scrapped. Let her cook. <laughs> Fast forward to two months later, she threatened the internet and released Guilty Pleasure. One second in and we see Jojo's pleasure house full. We don't need to be that obvious. Okay, why did they have to swim in on that part? This is mad Tosha. I can't, oh, I can't take it anymore. It's only a few seconds in and I already can't endure it anymore. Wait, did I just mention torture? You gonna do? Cause I'm sick of waiting. Get at your move. Let me let me try it. Okay. <sighs> ah, oh, oh, cringe. Eek, cringe. Chunk, I'm moving my direction. I'll make your dreams come to life. Wait, hang hang on. I thought she's a woman lover. And when they ask you, you can tell them that I Girl is not in a symphonic mode, nor gothic mode MV. Oh my days. This is one of the moments where I wish a black male band would barge in and burn her pleasure house down, like they did with churches. It's called black metal music and encourages devil worship and the desecration of churches. Overall, it gives off 2000s Lady Gaga vibes from the tunes. I'm your guilty pleasure. The outfits and editing. I mean, it is a hard watch, but not as hard as that part, you know, the dance part in Karma. Oh, yeah, I remember I made a shot about her stealing a design from a pop metal band tool. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And a podcast saying how her goal is to entertain. I truly want to entertain. 
Like, mm-hmm. I feel like that's And you I was, are an entertainer. Yep. I, I know I'm not a singer. I know I'm not a, a dancer. So the girl in Dance Mom was not you? So everything we've recapped was not you all along? Huh? But I am both if I entertain, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. it's, it's not about being the best, but it is for me about being the best entertainer that mm-hmm. I can be. So whatever I can do to make people look, make people squint, yep. make people mm-hmm. turn their head a little bit, that's, that's always my goal. I'm afraid the word entertain should be replaced as shock value or even puke value. Like, we get it. You've grown up. You're a real woman. No need for all those grinding, licking, and things that should be kept behind closed doors. Finally, the real deal here is her Lady Gun magazine photo shoot. I've seen ones from Death Metal MVs <laughs> and Grindcore covers, but honestly, what is this? Oh god, good heavens. Oh, Oh, I'm blowing it for the sake of YouTube, but it's basically Bahonga Tongs out and that, you know, that part being something from a man. Those sparkles are not making things better. To be fair, the other photo shoots are normal, giving off 2000s futuristic vibes. Other than that, I'm afraid that this is beyond shock value. I just... I am way too young for this. Here's what some comments said. Drive me mind is so bad. And I can't believe I found a Jojo Glazer in this comment section. Some follow-ups that the video missed is that now the post is age restricted, but the damage has already been done. The comments section was like every generation united together to say how disgusted they are Lamau. Many were shocked saying how uncomfy they were after witnessing such sight. <laughs> Even me. Like, alright, my fault for having the internet and not hiding behind metal archives and band cam. But then again, she's using such method in a way to grab people's attention. So whatever I can do to make people look, make people squint, yep. make people mm-hmm. turn their head a little bit, that's that's always my goal and I think it's working. Yep. Like me making this video and witnessing real horrors, then just random people making shorts mimicking her. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty big change. <laughs> Rainbow sparkles, and now I'm black sparkles. <laughs> I look like if a figure skater joined a street gang. <laughs> <laughs> However, it could just be a phrase and maybe in her 30s or 40s she'll look back at it and say, oh wow, that was indeed very cringe of me. Like how I regret making this specific video of me pretending to be Liam Gallagher. Today you got me a day that I got back to you. By now you said somehow we what you're gonna do. I thought it'd be funny to make that short, so I deeply apologize and I'm willing to write an apology letter for you after witnessing that short. This is why Oasis is not coming to perform in your country, Duffy. I'm not hitting on drag nor reverse drag given that I used to binge watch Drag Queen when I was a preteen because I quite fancied their humor. You knew that you always wanted to be a professional drag queen. I just wanted to be a star any way I got it. I, if I, I said if I didn't become a star by 35, I was just going to become a serial killer. Well, girl, how old are you? I'm getting nervous. And I'm quite acceptable. As long as the actions you're doing are not harassing anybody, then I'm completely fine with it. Now, if you excuse me, I've given enough attention to Lady Gaga wannabe, and I'm going back to my cave and jam to despise you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down your thoughts on her latest magazine photo shoot and her new bad girl era of ditching colors and bows. Are you a fan of it or are you traumatized by it? Let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Come as a biatch, I shouldn't know better. Bye bye.